some of my goals. I have a more detailed plan that I won't share just because it is more private, but still I'll share with you my goals, which is still very private. <laughs> but that's okay. Be creative for 15 hours a week, and that includes making art or editing videos. This is a goal that I have to allow me to achieve my other goal, which is post long form YouTube videos weekly. The next one is post short form video on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts four to seven times a week. That is a lot, but yeah, it's on the list. <laughs> so we will see how it goes. That's gonna be a hard one for me. Short form video is hard. I don't know, like reels and TikToks, I'm, I just haven't done them yet really. So that's something that I am gonna be definitely getting out of my comfort zone to doing and actually, and just having to allocate time to do. And then create a work of art every two weeks. So the next one, blog post twice a month. So I started a blog or more so I bought a domain for my blog, but I haven't started yet. I haven't posted on it yet. It's called The Artsy Hustler. And yeah, my goal is to post a blog every other week. So I need to get on that. Um, another one of my goals is to start using Notion, get organized with Notion. Um, I heard so many good things about Notion and I never used it before, but the last couple of weeks I've been using it and I have fallen in love, like it's, it's great. And then yeah, I want to fill up a sketchbook once every quarter, which is like once every like 12 week year because the most uncomfortable thing of the art process for me out of everything is drawing like freehand drawing so i think that a sketchbook would just be perfect to help me get out of that comfort zone and get out of that like fear then we get into some other category things journal one sentence a day so i love journaling and writing and i think that it's a very beneficial practice and theoretically, it would be more than one sentence a day. But if I say that the goal is just to write down one sentence every single day, I can accomplish that. My brain tells me that that is doable. If it's late at night and I'm tired and my goal was to journal like a page a day, I may say like, you know what, I'm just not about to do that. I don't have the energy for a page. But if it's just to journal one sentence every day, that is that takes 60 seconds. I can do that. And realistically, one sentence is oftentimes going to turn into more than that, but it's more so of the practice and the routine of getting started. Getting started is always the hardest part. But if I set the goal for just one sentence, like, yeah, I can accomplish that. Number two is kind of connected to number one with journaling is practice gratitude. So I have like dozens of these at this point, but they're little notebooks where I just put three things that I'm grateful for every day for the past several years. So the next one is go on three international trips. Uh, I just got my first passport ever. And then my next one is probably my favorite goal ever. Uh, I've been doing it for a while, but read 50 books a year. That's my favorite goal. This goal was the first goal that made me realize the importance of SMART goals because I have always been a big reader like my entire life. And maybe I'd read six books a year, or maybe I'd read 20 books a year, or maybe I'd read 30 books a year, or who knows. But I never checked how many books I read. I just was like, yeah, I like to read. I'm gonna read some books this year. I wanna read this book, I wanna read this one, whatever the case may be. But it wasn't until I said, you know what we're gonna do this year? <laughs> We're gonna read 50 books and I put a number to it and I realized the huge significance and impact that is caused when I put specific, measurable, timely, all that stuff to a goal. It made it so exciting finishing a book and being able to put it in the done category of my book list because of course I checked it on my phone every single book that I read. So it got to a point where putting the completed book on my list of 50 was just as fun and exciting and satisfying as reading the book itself. And it's one that doesn't have the pressure that these other ones do sometimes that would like, you know, post on YouTube and da 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 and make short term videos and stuff like that. Like those are great because they get me to my long term goals of where I actually want to be in my life. But this one's just for me, of something that I love. And you gotta have goals like that. The next one, less fun. Decrease eating out food, cook more. Mm. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
But yeah, decrease eating out food and cook more. That's actually great. I, I like cooking. I got really, I was really busy this past year in working and living in these random places. So cooking happened way less and eating out happened way more. And I wasn't happy with that. So this year when I'm staying my butt in Atlanta and I ain't going nowhere, that's definitely a big goal of mine. Um, say 15% of my paychecks is my next one. Uh, yep, financial goals, gotta have them. I like to save money. I'm good with money. I love finances. I love checking, going through, organizing, planning. Like I'm extremely detail oriented with money. I'm a finance chick. The next one is learn Haitian Creole. So that's a really fun one. I'm gonna be hard too, like learning language is hard, <laughs> but we're gonna figure something out. I, heard, I hear that Duolingo has a good Haitian Creole program. But yes, my partner is Haitian American and my partner speaks Haitian Creole, him and his whole family speak Haitian Creole and obviously like this is my life partner so I want to be a part of that culture I want to be a part of his culture um, and I want to share that with him and it means a lot to him as well so we gonna duolingo that thing you know what I'm saying and then I got some like fun ones I think that is good for your vision boards and your planning to have good pointless goals that aren't about like learning or growth work or business or finance or whatever it's good to have some things that are just kind of like meaningless so that you don't get too caught up in like oh, i gotta be this robot person that's like perfect at everything so <laughs> some of mine are keep nails done get them done once a month i have never gotten my nails done and this one is watch more anime like I love anime. Right now I'm in the middle of My Hero, which I've been putting off for a long time because I don't know, I thought it was like a childish show. Every time I saw it, it seemed kind of kitty. But then I actually started watching it, it's really good. But anywho, and then play more video games with my brother. One of the biggest ways that me and my brother always have bonded is by playing video games like across the miles, you know? Oh, and then I missed one more, was another fun one was start roller skating. So yeah, I want to start. I want to teach, well, I already know how to skate, but like, I wanna be, yeah, like a skater. <laughs> the next one is drink fruit and veggie smoothies. The next one is workout, go to my gym two times a week, practice more self care. My boyfriend's always get on to me about that. Like me, I don't know, <laughs> treating myself more and take care of myself more, or resting more, take more breaks. I gotta do better at that. Spend more time building relationships and friendships. Sometimes I get so caught up in the work stuff and the business stuff that, you know, I let like allocating time to those types of things slide and I want to do that more and also have explore more hiking and trails with Hanada and with my partner. Go to church on Sunday and dedicate more time to the Lord. Pray more, seek his guidance more. I just, yes, 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 yes. And then I have a couple more that I won't share, but yeah. These are the goals that I'm basing my vision board off of. When I'm making my goal plannings, I like to have a word or a theme for the year to help me focus on. For example, like consistency or persistence or self-care, like whatever the case may be. But this year, my word is more so a phrase and it is 50, 50, 50. So fun fact about me that you probably don't know, I work in construction. Um, I majored in civil engineering. I was actually a superintendent on my last job and transitioned to assistant project manager at the start of this new year. So that's a new role for me that I'm excited for. So we have this thing in construction that we call 202020. Every 20 minutes, take 20 seconds to look 20 feet around you. It's a safety best practice to follow just to make sure that you're staying aware of your um, surroundings and any hazards around you. So that kind of inspired me to create the theme for my year called 505050. 50, 50. <laughs> and it's pretty ambitious, but it is um, 50,000 followers on my three main platforms, which is YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok, I have never posted a TikTok yet. So that's gonna be from the ground up. Instagram, I'm, I think, I was, I was at like 13 something thousand followers and then I ghosted Instagram for a while, which I'm not gonna talk about now, but like I ghosted Instagram for a long time. I'm just now about to like get back started on it. So that's dropped some, I think now to like 11, 12,000 followers. And for YouTube, I have 296 subscribers. So 
50,000 is real far away. But yeah, so it is an extremely ambitious goal. Um, 50,000 followers on YouTube, 50,000 followers on Instagram, 50,000 followers on TikTok. I am under 300 on two of those, at zero of one of those two. And then I'm at about 11 and a half thousand followers on Instagram. And so the 50, 50, 50 theme really just includes all my major goals for the year and, and really encompasses the main focus that I have in my life right now. So um, is it realistic? I, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because if I believe that I can do it, then I can do it. And if other people believe that I can do it, then I can do it. And even if I don't do it, it's okay because it sets the the theme for the year, the focus of the year of like, okay, it, when I'm sitting and thinking like, I do not feel like editing this video tonight, maybe I'll just skip a week. And then I think about that theme, like, well, is skipping this week gonna get you to 50, 50, 50? Nah, let me get to work. So I think it's gonna be a very motivating thing for the year, especially now that I'm putting this out here, which is really weird. <laughs> but, so yeah, y'all help me get to 50, 50, 50. Subscribe if you haven't and enjoy my content. And hopefully this channel brings a ton of value to every single person that watches it. So if you do like words or themes for your year, comment what your word or your theme is for your year, cause I'm interested. I think that, um. I think that it's kind of inspiring kind of knowing what people's themes are and what they're working towards.